this very nice African print design I'm wearing was inspired by a fashion designer who learned everything from scratch on YouTube. So on our first session of the YouTube Inspire series, we're going to have a discussion with this fashion designer on how he was able to start a fashion design business from scratch, from YouTube, and how the business is faring and what inspires him or what keeps him going. So join us in our video. Let's have a very fruitful discussion with our designer. So, um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, my name is Paul Vigno. So, I shortened it to be Paul Vin. Paul Vin. I'm a graduate of the University of Ghana. Uh, I learned political science. I'm a 2018 graduate. Uh, Leslie here is my colleague. colleague. <laughs> All right. So, Right now, I'm into fashion. Okay. I sew for business. All right. 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 So, 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 um, if I may ask, is it your full time? Is it your full time job or oh, your full time business? Fashion is a it's a part time business. It's a part time business. But it's almost taking over my full time. Okay, I understand. So it means the money money is coming in. Of course, yes. Okay. So if I may ask, what's your what's your full time job? I'm a teacher. You're a teacher. So combining the teaching and then the fashion design, how how has it been like for you? Uh, Excuse my language, it has been a hell. It's really not easy at all. But it's a crowded day, you see. <laughs> Man, I have to I have to manage. Um sometimes I want to quit. But you want to quit the teaching or you want to quit the fashion? I want to quit one. <laughs> but I realize I love both. Okay. Because with the fashion, you must be a teacher before you can impart it to someone else. Right. right. And with the teaching you must be also someone who is able to transform. So if you're not able to transform yourself to even come to terms with the nature and life you are living with, how do you call yourself a designer or a teacher? Okay. So yep. I have to settle myself with what I'm doing and then go on. Right. It makes it makes a lot of sense. So um, tell me, how did you decide to learn fashion design from YouTube? Because a lot of people, with a regular one we know, and people become apprentices and okay. they learn from their master because okay. they have their hands-on experience okay how did you shift away from the regular or from the norm to decide that okay as for me i want to learn fashion design from youtube okay w how was your first encounter like okay. my everything began by mistake okay i didn't really plan to this is how it happened um from a half region before i got enrolled in the university of ghana i was uh, visiting a friend's shop often okay I would just go there because I had a lot of time on my hands. I was not doing anything as a SHS graduate, just messing around. So I used to go to this friend's shop all the time. And we just go and talk, talk, talk as guys. So there was a day that I went there. I had um, a torn trousers that I, had, I wanted to alter. Mm -hmm. Now my friend was not there. So I had to rely on myself. So I'm someone that I'm like, you see in tree, we say minimum. Mini. Mm -hmm. People say too known. I'm yeah. too confident in myself. Yeah. Yeah, that's so. Right. But before, because my friend wasn't there, I just took the advantage and sat behind his machine. And when I removed my trousers, I just looked at the way it was done at first, mm -hmm. before. Yeah, so yeah, when I traced with my eye, I realized, oh, the, the line passed here and there. So let me just try it with the machine. So I only had to test the machine regulator, how to make the machine work. Yeah, so the first time, it almost sold my own finger. But uh, I realized I had to step, it, step on it small, small to reduce the speed and it worked for me so when my friend came he was like ah Paul in tree until the city so you know how to sew and then you don't want you to don't help, help me yeah. I was like oh no I only tried to and it worked he was like oh master you are lying just take this and help me 
So he gave me a set. And I was like, let me be honest. I don't know anything about this thing I'm doing. <laughs> so just tell me, pass here, do this and do that. That was the only day I was taught how to sew. Okay. That first day. Just the regular. So the guy showed me, okay, this is a set. The hand, pass here. The, uh, maybe the, the sleeve or the whatever, pass here. Okay. So that day he showed me and I did it for him. Um, for me, I didn't so, feel it was. So the first day, you didn't have a proud encounter, or a proud experience at all. But just by listening to him saying, "Do this, do that, yeah. do that," you yeah. were able to yeah. actually because execute. What I felt, what I only needed, was my mind and how to operate the machine. Wow. So, wow. learning how to operate the machine before my friend, my friend came in, helped me a lot. So, when I was able to do that, I realized it was fun. Mm-hmm. It was how to just put piece of cloth together and draw something out of it for yeah. you to wear and it goes so i spent that whole night on the machine whilst my friend was asleep wow. so the following week i had admission to legon and i after that day i never even went to my friend's shop to go and learn anything okay, okay. when i go there he's so busy doing his own thing and i'll just be sitting behind one machine doing trial and error mm-hmm. then they'll be laughing at me <laughs> so when i came to legon I realized after school in Ghana here you may not get anything to do. Yeah, that's why so I said before I go to Legon, I have to learn something. That was the week when I learned how to do bits of sewing. Okay. So I said I'll learn how to shave, I'll learn how to do uh, multi-tivy installation right. and how to sew because everywhere you go in this world, those yeah, things work. So the first day I decided I learned how to do multi-tivy installation just by going on Google. I just followed the instructions. I realize they have ways or places that they put the, the dish and then it works. But me, I'll just pass the dish around. When it captures the signal, then, then I stop. It. So, so um, I don't know, but it's like you are kind of connected to the internet rather than learning from someone. I'm against classroom education totally. I throw a fraud. <laughs> for you to sit someone down, let the person pay you, for you to teach the person something, is fraudulent totally. Because my idea is that if there is something that we can get on the internet for free, you just have to buy some cities of data and then everything i want to learn you set up your own curriculum for yourself mm-hmm. right you can just go on, on online get anything that you want to get why must someone sit in some office and then just uh, draw some curriculum for me like without me having an independent mind to choose what i want to learn for myself from kg to university someone has programmed me to follow through some system of Guys education guidelines, yeah. yes school so, has come advocate <laughs> ah, so okay. if i have to learn a a plus a someone must put it in the curriculum until the time has reached that the time that, that person has test set for me has come cannot, i don't learn a plus a yeah. and then that's that's some some kind of uh i don't know if i should call it tyranny someone is controlling my mind from mm-hmm. childhood so that's what actually inspires you to be more of internet inclined in yes. terms of learning stuff. yes okay because so you were narrating your story um concerning how you learned the multi-tv installation yes by true google yes and then what about the haircut were you able to execute that i was a baba <laughs> before i entered university when i was even in university i was shaving people's hair wow and you did that through via internet or no for the access? for the this because of the overconfidence i have in myself i trust in me totally so when i picked the comb and i put the blade on it i just used my brother's hair for a trial yeah. and i realized the first time the cut was not so nice but i revisit my revisited my memory and i realized the parts i made the mistakes mm-hmm. so the next time i corrected it and it was good wow. so before i went to the university i even took people's money to shave <laughs> That's that's a nice idea. So let's let's come to um, yeah, the fashion design. So um, the first day, like you were just there, you decided to visit YouTube. Or okay. you, you did a regular Google search before you landed. On so when I went to university, I didn't really know much about YouTube. Okay. Because where I'm coming from, <laughs> I was much into phone. That time I had already known about Facebook, mm-hmm. but I didn't know really about YouTube. So it was after I think my third. Um, semester that i saw some videos trending so level so, 200 no first um third semester no i, I mean second semester i'm, t- I'm okay. thinking about because my teaching background yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. second semester level 100 so i saw some video trending and people were talking about youtube 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 and i was like ah. so i went online I, I saw so many videos to watch so one day i said okay they said anything that i want to find you can find on that yeah. 
platform? Uh, portal. So I just went online and I searched soaring in general. Oh, so many things th came. And I was like, oh, but this thing, I can even learn it here. Mm -hmm. Whilst I'm doing my um, offline education yeah, that's, that's on cool. the campus. And then there was one too, I was doing some online courses. So I said, ah, if I can do online courses, I'll be giving me certificates. Why can't I use the same time to also learn my sewing? Even though I won't get certificates, at least I can work for myself after all. I, I like to dress. So even if I won't work for anybody, I can work for myself. Yeah, probably so sew some. I'll right. go online. First, I search how to sew shirts. It will, it will come. I'll read. And I'll watch. I realized that watching was good. But it wasn't giving me what I needed because I had to practice. Yeah. This work is a practical work. You don't just come and watch and watch and watch and go. Uh -huh. So that's messed up. When I came home, I had to get machine. So it was like I was finding ways of piling everything I watched online in my memory. Mm -hmm. so when I come home, practice. I get fabrics and I practice with my friend's shop. You understand? So along the line, I got a lady in my life who had a sister who had a machine that okay. was neglected. So. I just went for that machine. I had it in my room. So anytime I watch, I just practice. Yes. Watch, practice, watch, practice to date. So um, with one thing about online education, uh, my personal experience, the discipline. Yeah. How are you able to? How are you able to stay disciplined enough to learn whatever you wanted to learn on YouTube and then now practice constantly and execute it? What inspires you to be able to do that? Okay. I realized that sometimes I was being swayed away. Because when you are online, some video pops up and then you want to watch that one. So I made some curriculum for myself. I realized I was always being distracted. So for example, if you want to sew a shirt like what you are wearing, what do you need to know first? I realized cutting comes first. So okay, cutting should be first on my list. After that, what do you do? I realized you have to put together the various parts. Okay, that one comes next. After that, you have to do pockets before you can join the sideways. If not, you will have issues. Okay, so pocket comes next. So you can't just go and learn how to sew shirts all together like that. Yeah. After the video, you miss a lot. So you have to learn how to cut. After cutting, how to do the patching of the main body. After that, how to do the the okay. pockets. After that, how to join the side. Don't not forgetting you have already fixed the sleeves. Yeah. Right. Huh. So I followed through like that, and I went to trousers. Even it actually took me over two years to learn into practice as in i was even sewing for money but only shirts mm -hmm. uh -huh. so but you mastered one skill before you could yes see that another. yes so i realized that i love chinese movies a lot and when you want to talk about dressing and sewing you can't leave them out chinese suit you won't get it yeah indian wear you won't get it so anytime i go online i realize i watch i ignore the nigerian stuff even though that's homegrown mm -hmm. but i realize those people are really really master master of what i wanted to learn yeah so I go and search for Indian videos, how to cut shirts. Then but here lies the case they are not speaking English. So how? I was just flowing the parts. Okay. okay. Ha. Sometimes they mix a bit of English and I get something. <laughs> ha. But I was just flowing the because sometimes I don't even talk. We just put some sounds under it mm -hmm. and then the video is going. So I just follow through. Ha. And then that's how I come you realize when I saw it's a bit different. So when I teach sewing online, those who come to watch my video are a bit enthused because they realize. Oh, okay. So you you actually teach um, sewing online. Yes. You have a YouTube channel. Yes. I realize society has given me I have to give back, and where that's, I learned it from, that's, that's why I have to give back. To. That's brilliant. So we'll, we'll probably drop your YouTube channel link so that people could check you out and that's, also that's very good. Learn, learn from there. That's so did you did you set timelines for yourself? Maybe within the next three months or within the next four months, I want to be able to learn how to cut. In the next five months, I want to know how to draw a pattern. Or stuff no, honestly, like that. I didn't do anything like that. I just wanted to flow with life. Okay. I'm someone that when I set my mind on something, I get so much into it that I neglect almost everything around me. Mm -hmm. Got to a point that when I was learning how to sew, and uh, my lady comes around me, I don't even see her. <sighs> so I was always having issues. Really? I realized that's me, and I didn't want to change. Because when it comes to gra grasping knowledge, nah, I don't joke with it. So I just set my mind on it, let it flow. Naturally, and you're able to do that. Yeah. Okay, that's that's a very inspiring story from how he learns, like he, he likes to learn everything. And once he sets his mind on it, he's able to achieve. Okay, so now let's come straight to business. Okay. Um, how long have you been in operation for now? If I am to calculate, I went to university 2014. Right. And after the first year, I was sewing for money. 
So I would say it only took me like three months okay. to master the shirts. Uh -huh. So within three months, you started cashing yes. out from yes. Yes, that was. I had, I had this uh, um, an, an Islamic tailor, okay, a Muslim tailor in my in my house. Okay. So when whenever I was on vacation, I wouldn't go to my friend's shop because from my house to my friend's shop was like some miles walk. Okay. It's a back in half. We don't really deal with taxis and stuff around like <laughs> yeah. we walk. So I would just wake up in the morning, go and sit by my my uh, cotonant sh um, machine, yeah. and then I just sew and sew and sew. So it was the speed increased for me. So within three months, I had really mastered, and I was okay. even sewing and teaching the man in the <laughs> house, <laughs> the one who had already done so many years of sewing. Wow. Wow. Ah. So uh, that was like three months okay. for me to pick the shirt sewing very well. And I used to try different different stuff. I, I like to challenge myself. Right. Things that people I realized should be very difficult for me. That's what I would try and do. That's that's uh -huh. that's very inspiring. So would you say sewing pace? Really much um, pace. Yeah, that's only if you know what you're doing. You're cashing out, eh? Yes. <laughs> after, after all, I took something from you before I, I did this <laughs> that's, for you. That's that's <laughs> great. So um your marketing, I don't actually even remember um, how I realized that you could sew. I don't know if I saw it on WhatsApp. I don't know if I think I posted something on my status. Page. Something on my status. And I was also, when I started my YouTube channel, I was asking people to subscribe. Yeah. So that was how come you really realized that I could sew. Okay. So what, what's your marketing strategy like? Okay. And what sets you apart from other, other um, fashion designers? What's your okay. marketing strategy? Okay. Yeah. Right now, I don't really do anything so much about marketing because I realize even though I'm not really doing that, there's so much work on my hands that I'm not really able to live up to. Charlie, and it's yeah, making man. me a bit disloyal to my customers. Right. When I have too much of work that I can't really do myself. And it's not everybody who likes you to give their stuff out. Outside. Uh -huh. So sometimes, it's been a while that I even posted about my sewing stuff on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When someone will sew today, when you do the work very nicely, the person takes it and brings you another thing the next day. Yeah. So my old customers are my new and still old customers. Yeah. So I make a customer out of you right now. When I do this for you, you pay me. You take it home, you realize it's so nice, you come back again. Yeah. That's a new customer, even because the same person. That's that's how we did you you saw you sold one first uh -huh. um, African prince and then uh -huh. I got you even you've even sold one for my brother as yes, well. So, so so that's that's So my that. marketing is my my work. Yeah, your work speaks when, for you. When I do it nicely, the cloth goes out and brings someone. That's 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 the only idea. but there are so many if I'm to share how to really do marketing, I can maybe opine. But it's not really something I'm using. When you sew for yourself, like what I'm wearing, when someone sees you, oh, this one is nice, who sewed for you? Sometimes that, that will really work for me too. Yeah. Then I say, oh, myself. Oh, I never knew, I, never talk, I, don't, I don't even talk about myself being a designer. Mm -hmm. But when people ask me, I say, ah, but you can do this and we, ne we, we never knew. Yeah. So, so they try me, they try me and then they get stuck. Because yeah. I take my time. People tell me I'm too slow in sewing. Because this thing I use the whole day. People can use the whole day for three of this. Right. I, I don't like to get my stitches wrong. So if I sew and then the stitch is a bit uh, hooked or crooked, I just have to go back and tell you whatever I've done and, and then do, then it, do again. it again. So when I give it to the customer, he or she will come back. Because it's, it's actually a perfect. Yes. So my marketing perfect, is yeah. in how I work. That's, that's, that's very, that's very, very, very good. Yeah. And I've realized you have this skill of being able to guess the size or the designs, um, how do I even say, the measurement yes. by looking at the picture, like yes. how did you acquire okay. that skill as well? Okay, I'm um, someone that, when you tell me to tell you the measurement of this table in inches, I can just look at it and tell you this will be about 17 inches or close and you put tape on it and then you, you realize that it won't be too far from, see it's 21, yeah. uh -huh. but someone should just Look at this and tell you, but the, the figure they will give you will be too huge. Yeah, the difference is. Ah, that's me. When it comes to, I can tell you this one is one inch. Right. I can tell you this one is about like one and a half. I don't know. It's it's uh, when I when I when I sleep when, if I'm doing something and I leave it, I go to bed. That's what I realize. Someone is teaching me the thing that I couldn't do. I wake up and I come and do it. So maybe I have immersed myself into it so much that it's rather taking over my dreams. <laughs>
Yeah, but it's 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 still it's still cool. It's still cool. So you've never acquired that. Skill. Would you say it's from experience or you just feel like it's something you have? Okay, I think experience is part, but it's not every tailor that's able to do that. Yeah, that's true. They, they also have experience, so I think it's something that's in me. That's true. Okay, so um, about your teaching on YouTube, okay. um, let's say somebody, anybody around the world, okay, wants to learn a skill, wants to acquire a skill. What message or what information would you give to him about trying a career or learning a skill from YouTube or via the internet? Okay. Let me face the camera and say this. Um, if you're watching me out there, I will tell you this. I only had my first experience of sewing offline, just one day. The rest, totally done online. So I can even say I learned sewing from scratch online. Nobody can boast of being a master to me. Even the friend that showed me my first day, I teach him now. The last time he saw me showing how to teach or uh, how to cut trousers online, he was like, ah, how come? <laughs> because you see, so what I want to tell you is that no matter what you want to learn, in today's dispensation, everything is available online. Just know what you want. That the first thing is you must decide what do you want to learn. When you get it, go straight online, search it. When you begin, it becomes so tough. Sometimes you don't know where to pass. But as you begin to immerse yourself into it, over time, it becomes part of your life. It flows like that with you. So in the beginning, just go with the flow. When you are already into it and you have a bit of experience from teaching yourself, you set a tagline and a timeline for yourself. And for some months, years, I think you'll come back and tell me later. Wow, wow, wow. Very inspiring message to anybody who wants to start a, a career or learn a skill by learning online. So um, your two your two jobs, the business, the sewing business, yeah. and um, the teaching business, which one is paying more? Okay, uh, for now, because I am alone in the sewing business, I would say the teaching is paying me more. Okay. Because with the sewing, if you are one person, how many work can you, can do, you do within a day, within a week? And I also mentioned I'm a slow worker when it comes to sewing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I'm a perfectionistic person. I don't like to make mistakes in my work. So it takes me so much of time to do what other people can do with so less of time. Uh -huh. So well, right now, the teaching pays more. And then in Ghana here, per where I stay in Pokwas, people don't really want to pay much for sewing. So okay. But if I am to be at where the, uh, the money is, you see, Accra Central and those places, <laughs> You can pay some people pay thousand two hundred for just stop and down. So depending so on, on the on the average, and um, let's let's talk numbers a little. Okay. Um, how much do you make monthly from sewing? Okay, so um, from sewing on the average, I shouldn't even think about it. I would say uh, I make at least eight hundred cities a month, wow. at least, and it's only because I am doing the work alone Hello. myself and I'm a slow worker. My friends make at least two thousand, two thousand four hundred at least. Wow! Wow! You see, Cashman, he was talking as if money is not coming from the sewing business, but here lies the case. He's making at least 800 CDs a month. Yeah, at least. That's, that's a lot of a lot of money or side money to support yeah. the income yeah. from the income from sewing. So um, can we get your contact details in case okay. anybody wants to um, reach out and then get you to do work for him? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, my phone number is uh, 0209060011. 0209 zero six zero zero one one that's uh, also my whatsapp number okay so we are going to drop the number um, in the description we are going to add his social media handles as well yeah. so that you can reach out to him and um, i don't know um do you do both men and women and um, designs no, for me <laughs> people have been actually asking me to learn women stuff but i realize women they sometimes worry <laughs> uh, part of the body tightening mm -hmm. you talk too much so it just opened up for me there was you so much of Heavy oh, okay. So I said, let me just do men. Yeah. I want my peace of mind. Yeah. Already, I'm yeah. stressed. Yeah. Okay, okay, we understand. So, so what, what, what to be your last? What to be your last words for? My last. Um, my, you've already given us a couple of inspiration or yeah. an inspirational message already. But what will be your last words for um, those of us who are yet to become your customers? And um, those of us who are yet to visit your YouTube channel to learn. So, I actually wanted to do something like that, okay. but I couldn't become like you and learn on YouTube, and I couldn't even go to. 
the tailor to also learn from there. Yeah, so the, the time like is still the there. You can. I have no skill. But so, well, what would be your last message for someone like me or someone who is here to be your customer, someone who is here to learn a skill on YouTube, someone who wants to ha add a side hustle to whatever they do? Okay. Maybe to inspire you much more. I have to tell you this story a friend told me that even pushed me to be my own boss. Someone told me after university, Paul, you are so smart a guy, you used to talk in class so much, why would you want to graduate university and become a tailor? And did like this, a tailor. So I was like, okay, you say I'm so smart. If you think I'm so smart, why would you think a smart guy like me would want to work with, for someone and make someone else life better? Than work for myself because I also demand a smart guy to work for me. Mm -hmm. So if I'm that smart guy, why don't I work for myself? So see, if you want to build life for yourself, nobody can pay you to satisfy you. They will pay you only meager of what you earn them. Right. But when you begin, it's like it's not really working. But over time, you realize why you started so small. It's not so big that it's even employ employing others. It all depends on your thinking. And the confidence you have in yourself that everything is possible if you know who you are you possess so, so much power that just set your mind to it learn some skill all right learn some skill and it will pay over time that's right. what i will tell you all right thank you very much um paul for your for your very inspiring message so um there, there you have it um he actually learned everything it's like he's talented in a way but he's been able to utilize take advantage of the internet, take advantage of YouTube. The same data I was buying back then, he's been able to acquire a money-making venture from it. So, um, here lies the case, we need a discipline, we need to set targets for ourselves, and then we'll be able to do it. Since he's been able to do it, I'm very sure we'll be able to do it. So, um, if you're on, today's your first time on my channel, kindly hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and then share this very inspiring piece of information from Paul to the world as well. So I'm out and I'll see you some other time. Bye.